crash in Jacksonville involving a glider plane this afternoon at Herlong Airport. Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for being here with us. I'm Destiny McKeever. Thanks so much again for joining us for the news at 6 o'clock. So Herlong Airport, that's on Jacksonville's west side. For those of you who are not familiar, on Normandy Boulevard, JSO just gave us an update on what happened. So on your sides, Brianna Ray Turner is there. She is live for us to tell us what she knows so far. Brianna. Yeah, Destiny, this is what we know so far. The glider aircraft is um, is what crashed. Police say the glider pilot on that plane was experienced. I'm going to show you the scene behind me. Um, uh, still the scene is pretty active. Um, you have JSO over there and JA. NTSB is expected to be on the way. Now there was one person on board the aircraft. Um, the crash happened on airport property. JFRD tells us it landed in near some trees and the crash was fatal. Um, the spokesperson for the Jacksonville International Airport, Greg Willis, tells me uh, JSO is doing the investigation on the plane crash and NTSB is determining the cause of the crash. Uh pilot of the glider is an experienced glider pilot. It's, he owns the actual glider he was in. Um, he was flying. He actually did the release level lever to let go of the tow rope from the airplane. Immediately the glider appeared to be in some sort of distress and crashed into the ground. We're still learning more about this plane crash, what led up to the crash. You can go to our First Coast News app or website, website as we gather more details. I'm live here in Jacksonville. Brianna Returner, First Coast News on your side. Thank you, Brianna. Further up, Normandy.